so let's open it back up. I was I didn't mean to end the game. All right. Is she dreaming? Oh, it's a dream sequence. She's in a field. Anthony, are you still there? Yes. Ah, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I saw. You did? Wow. I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back in my home world isn't the light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I'd be able to hold it like I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? Ah, I guess not. If you're the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home world called? Earth. Earth? Like, the stuff on the ground. Wait, do you live underground? No. Ah, neither do we. But shrews and field mice and stuff do. Does your world have a sun? Yes, it's also ball fire. Really? Wow. Can you hold it? That was a silly question, wasn't it? The sun in my home world isn't very is very bright. Warm too. You saw, right? But I it goes away sometimes, at night. Everything gets dark, kinda like how this world is now. But it's okay, because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? My world's like that too. Um, do you sleep during the night? I go to sleep usually. But some people stay up and use computers. I don't have to explain what they are, do I? There's a bunch of them in this world. Anyway, we should probably get going. There's a lot of docks here just leading out over the water. It's a good thing that I actually uh, did that, because um, even though I quit out of the game, it allowed me to see that sequence that I probably wouldn't have seen otherwise. Anthony, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. Well, let's continue. So we picked up a metal pipe, which I guess is probably used uh, for prying open that uh, battery. Like a crowbar, right? It's basically a crowbar. It's a bit confusing to me that these two buildings look identical, but they're different buildings. Nico's world sounds awfully similar to mine, doesn't it? Seems like a nice world. I don't know why that robot would be moving around. It just seems to be wasting power mostly. It's just wait in front of the building. But anyway, let's go to that battery now. Uh, let's equip that item. Metal rod. Pipe won't fit under the cracks, Anthony. We'll need to flatten it somehow. Hmm. Flatten it? What do you mean by flatten it? Won't fit under the cracks. Like the cracks in in the battery or on the floor? To flatten it. Okay, so what could you mean by flatten it? What do you mean by it, more specifically? Are we are we trying to flatten the battery? Because that might break it. Or do you mean, like, I have to take this metal pipe and turn it into more of a crowbar shape? There are lots of small glowing shrimp swimming in the jar. Oh, the blue phosphor shrimp, I guess. That was mentioned earlier. Some sort of small machine. Yeah. Okay. We can't use the, the crowbar here, I don't think.
Okay, so we can't... That's clearly what we have to use the metal pipe for. But I still don't get what the other component is. I also have an empty bottle. I don't think it's very useful in this situation, though. The smell of alcohol ling lingers. Not gonna smash the bottle. Okay, so it's an option to smash the bottle, but we're not going to do it right now. Uh, hmm. Maybe we have to go further right. Let's go further this way. We haven't over explored really over here yet. Uh, there's some buildings. Lovely. Uh, oh, can't pass by that. Something sounds like it's still working in here. Must have been some sort of factory? A robot standing on the conveyor belt. Doesn't seem to have power. A robot. Seems to be okay, just doesn't have power. A little bit strange to me. I hear it's the sounds of machinery, I think. A robot sitting on the conveyor belt doesn't seem to have power. What could possibly still be running? This world. See, if I'm going to be the god of this character, shouldn't I know everything about the world? I don't know everything about this world. I'm learning as quickly as Nico is. <laughs> What's left of the robot's arm? I mean, that would ruin the game for me. Because I would know everything. Oh, this machine is still working. This machine is still running. Maybe I shouldn't stand so close to it. What if I got my scarf caught in there? Then pull me in. I'm not going to finish that sentence. Flatten, hey? I bet I could flatten the metal rod using it. Ah, do you want me to crush the pipe in here, Anthony? I don't want to get too close. That was scary. Okay, I thought I would, was going to have to do something else yet. Like, I thought maybe I would have to use the one of the robot arms to put the pipe in the uh, thing without getting too close to it. But no, it just turns out that our character is a daredevil. And we got a crowbar. So that gives us our next step. That's where I was thinking it was heading, though. It would have been clever if they did that. Like, have the arm be one of the things you have to use. But, yeah, I don't know, that works too. This bar should open it. There's a little metal cube, metal cube and some broken glass in here. Looks like what I used to be looks what looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. Okay, so we have to be careful picking this up, apparently. There's the broken battery. I guess we weren't very careful in transporting it and the lens fell out. But maybe that's supposed to go in this big machine here? I think. I'm guessing. Right? Oh, select that. Okay. The battery fits the slot perfectly. Looks like we're on the right track, but nothing happened. That's because the lens is broken.
How are we gonna fix the lens? Oh, wait a minute. There's like a light bulb icon on it. Do I have to put the light bulb in? Like combine the items? I already read that before, but... I don't know, I thought maybe the character would catch on to the problem. But that's never the case. Of course it isn't. Okay, so I think... Find these? I don't think you can do anything else here, Anthony. Feels like we're on the right track, though. Just, I see that light bulb icon on the battery, so I thought maybe, you know. So, the, clearly the puzzle here is that the lens got dislodged. What could we use to replace the lens? Or fix the lens? Oh, maybe I have to... I can't combine those. Not gonna smash the bottle. I thought maybe you could use the glass from the bottle as the lens. Or maybe if you smash the bottle, it'll give you the lens? But that's not what it wants us to do. Okay, so I sense a very subtle hint. She said, I feel like we're on the right track, so is it something to do with these railroad tracks, maybe? Well, actually, maybe there's not much of a point coming back here, because I know that there's more to the right, but I also know I can't go to the north. So maybe, maybe there's something to the right that I hadn't gotten yet. And also, I don't remember if I actually explored that entire factory building yet. Let's do that, too. So yeah, now I'm in completely blind territory. I don't know what to do here, so... Well, I noticed the track goes into this building. Hmm? Nothing? Okay. Can we pass this by and go somewhere else? Under what condition is that machine still working? A little bit strange. Okay, well, that seems to be all that's here. Maybe there's more to the right of this building. There's a lot to look at here. That's an interesting set of railroad tracks, to say the least. Huh. Gotta be careful here. Like, lifts. Although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones, Baron workers were still recommended to wear gas masks. These masks are mandatory, were mandatory around active fence sites, of course. As more and more of the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. It seems like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept a few for emergencies. Okay. But where are they? walk diagonally. That is a key component. You are not allowed to walk diagonally. Walking diagonally is forbidden. Uh, gosh, I'm gonna get lost in here. I still sort of know where I am. Oh, that's like a machine. The sun will not return, and the abyss is calling my name. I'm sorry, everyone, for choosing to leave before the darkness suffocates us all. A 
metal safe. Seems like it's locked with the six digit code. I don't remember seeing any six digit codes. Do you, Anthony? That wasn't it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know any six digit code. Okay, so that's where we came from. So we're just going in circles now. What's over here then? Oh, wait, the metal safe is over there. Oh, that's what we just went to. Okay, that's so that's locked behind a six digit code. I don't know what that code is yet. We must find something, though it might be a bit abstract. Turn page with faded ink. XX slash XX slash XX. With the mining operations going smoothly, materials are no longer a limiting factor. You'll be able to build more resistant robots, both in body and mind. Specifically, the discovery of metal alloy 291 will likely allow the development of high efficient circuitry. Okay. I feel like I'm going to be missing something from here, no matter what. Uh, there's so many branching pathways. But it also probably isn't as complex as uh, one would think. Clovers? Robot. No power, just like the rest. The light bulb. So, are you the messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. At least someone that doesn't look like hidden. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? Uh-uh, I'm a person. Got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs. Well, either way. A child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. But the robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. Sigh. This is going to sound cold, but I honestly think you're better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This is a, this manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. We can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here. You must be headed towards the tower. Hmm. That's where I'm supposed to light bulb or sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We all know the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend, and the power is the strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh, don't take my word for it, though. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks, I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the ro robots are recalled. At least, let me know you got my message, okay? Kip. Please do not touch that. Oh, sorry, I got curious. What is this thing? Backup power cell. It keeps me functional. The main generator for the Barons ran out of power some time ago. It could not even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All I can do is make use of the light we have. Something is poking out from the shelf. It's a screwdriver. You can take it if you want. It may help you. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I have many. Thank you. Lots of tiny shrimp are swimming in this jar. So you're a robot as well, then. In order to stay functional, you have to have power. It's a metal chess table covered in dust. I haven't played chess with anyone else for a very long time. Oh, not even with the other robots, no. Nobody in the Barrens have that capacity in their programming. Nobody here is tamed for that matter. A shelf with weird tools and pieces of metal. Name feels very melancholy. Wait! I saw you heading towards this direction. 
Mine's have been for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it's my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. There's a little gadget on the ground. This looks like the lens for that thing. Looks like a camera. What's left of a camera, anyway. Probably not- even, probably even part of a robot at one time. Oh, or not. I don't know. That's probably the lens. I'm not gonna put it on now. Because otherwise I might break it again. I can see a faint yellow glow, glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead, anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines, the source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled in the world into in the Industrial Age. So now it's lost forever. It's been lost for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have all been cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh, I hope he's okay. Ready to leave? Mm hmm Okay, so I think that that lens is actually, like, that camera, quote-unquote, is actually a lens that I have to use. So I'm gonna walk back over there, and I'm gonna try and put that into the thing. I feel like that's the next step, right? I don't think that I've quite explored every branching path here. I think I've missed some. Maybe I should just take a quick look to ensure. There's this section over here, which is like a diagonal like this, and then there's a part to the left where I haven't explored beyond this. I like this. It's like myster mysterious, sort of. Oh, okay, this just goes nowhere. It's a dead end. It kind of reminds me of, uh... It kind of reminds me of Gravity Falls in a strange way. <laughs> Just because it's kind of dark and mysterious. Even though it's very different. It's clearly very, very different. I wonder what we only have one shot at. Like, what is it that we only have one shot at? Is it that if we lose, we have to go all the way back to the beginning? Is it like, um, that game, that Flash game on Newgrounds? I'm sure someone will know what I'm talking about, where you, it's like the end of the world because there's a cancer solution that wasn't actually a solution, and it killed everyone, and you're the last man left standing because you came up with an antidote for it? Because that game, once you finished it, and you refresh the page to try it again, it wouldn't let you. Uh, so combine this with this. I can't combine those. Really? I thought that that's exactly what you had to do. There's a broken lens here, and there's a lens here. This has a broken lens. This has a lens. And then the screwdriver. Use the screwdriver to pull the lens out? Ah, yes. Okay. Done. The lens pops right in. We're using the sun directly on the battery? I would have never thought of that. Good thinking, Anthony. Ah, it looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. Alright. Now we can use the charged battery here. Let's hope the charge battery does something. Whoa! Okay, so is that gonna power all of the robots now? Like the note describes? It does! I am functional. I can walk. I am functional. Did you power the generator? I guess we did, right, Anthony?
I see you've made progress in this world, Anthony. But that progress stops here. I believe you need the code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Uh, I guess that means it exists on my computer somewhere? Good, good. Start looking. Hmm. Where would it have put a six-digit code on my computer? Oh! In my documents. Okay. This is the point where I zoom out of the video and show my computer. My documents folder is quite messy, so this might take a while. But let's just sort by date modified. Ah! Here we go. Dear... something. Message to you. I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that... something. Read it and you will know what to do. I have also... Look for a metal safe in the quarry to the east somewhere between the ocean and the lookout point. The code you need is 718332. Okay. Figures it would be in my documents. That's a pretty standard place that a game would put something in. That's what I figured this was going to be. It's like a meta game, sort of. So the safe was over here. Metal safe. Seems like it's locked with the six digit code. I don't remember seeing any six digit codes. Do you, Anthony? What is it again? 718332. Oh, whoa, it worked! Wait, how did you know the code, Anthony? I still don't remember seeing one. I had some help. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. Okay. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right. Let's see. Huh. I found a gas mask. Also, there's a weird-looking book. Yeah, I don't want to play the mysterious figure who is being mysterious for no reason. Uh, I just want to... Be nice to the in-game characters. I feel like if I'm not, then it'll come back to bite me. What did this say about the document again? I have left you a journal, part of which is written in language that something. Read it and you will know what to do. I've also... Left... Oh, wait. There's like words inside these somehow. But it's difficult to read message to you, left it, which is part of it in a language that nobody understands. Yeah, I think. How on something, read it and you'll know what to do. I also left you a mask. BC because of no, you, W, N? Look, f yeah, look for, this is easy to read. So, left me a mask, that's important. But I don't know where that is, because it's not clear. But I think the rest of the sentence is something like, because I know you will need it, or something like that. Left you a mask because I know you'll need it. Can't read it, though. Not that I can't read or anything, because I can. I just don't know what language this is. It 
it's empty. Where's the mask? What is that? Empty. That must be the mask, but how do I get to it? Oh. I'll wear it when I have to. Okay, so we did get a mask. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. This reminds me, there is like a horror game that used this concept, I believe, of files appearing in your documents, except that used it, of course, for the horror value of it. Now this is off? Won't turn on. I figured that it might have something else for me there. I'm gonna open back up my documents. Uh, it says the journal, only part of the journal is written like that nobody understands. Read it and you'll know what to do, but I can't though. I can't this at all. I need you to read it, to interact with it. Can't go back that way. So, if I read it, I will know what to do, but I can't... She can't seem to read it. And the first part of that sentence is... I'm sure, on purpose, obscured. Okay, I need to make it back over to that area with silver in it, I think. Might have something to comment on this. How do I get there, and what's it for? Uh... 